Yes, my name is Dr. Keeti. Today I am back to discuss about one of the most commonly used connective tissue stain that is Mason's trichome. So before going to that, just start an introduction. What is collagen? Collagen is secreted by your fibroblast, right? So we have a 30 different types of collagen. The most abundant collagen is type 1 and whereas the basement membrane uh, having a type 4 collagen, right? And I told you in the last class, type 3 collagen is called as reticular fibers. So what is collagen? It's basically a triple helical structure made up of polypeptide chain. So you, one point you have to remember, based upon the pH, the charge on the collagen varies. For example, in acidic pH, your collagen fibers will have a positive charge. So today we are going to discuss about trichome stain. So there are two techniques to demonstrate your trichome stain. One is Masson's technique, one is Van Giesen technique. So today I will be discussing about the Masson trichome stain. Okay. So the name itself it's telling it's a trichrome. That means a three dyes we are using to differentiate between the three structures. One is your collagen and one is your muscle and one is your RBCs. Okay. So what are the indications of this uh, trichome stain? To grade and stage the fibrosis in case of liver, especially liver cirrhosis in terms of liver biopsies and in terms of your kidney biopsies and also in a certain tumors where you want to differentiate between the collagen and the fibroblast. So these are all the indications of our trichome stain. So now coming to the principle. As I told you, it is to differentiate between the collagen, muscle fiber and your RBC. So what is the principle of this uh, mass and trichome stain? So it's basically based on the porosity of the uh, substance. For example, uh, your collagen which is highly porous, right? Compared to your muscle and compared to your RBCs. So here we use uh, three different uh, dyes of different porosities and of a different molecular size and charge. Okay? So first you put up a small uh, molecular size dye. That is your acid fashion. So obviously it is a smaller in size so it will pass through your collagen, muscle and RBCs. Then you use an intermediate molecular size of a dye that is phosphotungustic acid. But that can pass only through your collagen and skeletal muscle. It cannot pass through your RBCs, right? Because the pores on the RBCs are very smaller. Then we use a higher molecular size dye, okay? That is either your methylene blue or light green. So those bigger molecules of dye can only pass through your collagen. They cannot pass through your skeletal muscles or sorry whatever the muscle structure and your RBCs right. So that means the bigger dye is replacing the smaller dye. That's how it gives your different colors to these different uh, structures right. So that's called as selective staining. So as a result, your collagen will take up a different color and your muscle will take up a different color, right? So that's how we are able to differentiate. So what will be the final result based upon the larger dye which you take? For example, for staining a collagen, if you have taken a methylene blue, it will be blue color collagen or if you have taken a light green collagen, will be greener in color. Whereas your uh, nucleus will be blue or black because we have used the counter stain as a hepatoxylin right whereas your uh, muscles and rbcs will be red in color so this was about the result now going back i want to discuss a few things i told you that in a acidic ph your collagen will be positively charged right so that's why when you are doing this collagen stain especially trichome stain we have to make sure we are using a fixatives which gives you the acidic ph that is your points and your, uh, we use a points and also your zenkers which will give you the acidic pH. These are the fixatives of choice for doing the trichome stain. Okay, that is one thing. And remember one more thing, what is the control we are going to use for it? Any appendix, intestine you can use. So that's it about your collagen stain that is mass and trichome stain.